the 47 years old Yoshihiro Akiyama also known as Sexy MA has been known for his impressive physique which has led many to wonder why he focuses so much on weight training there are several reasons why Akiyama is doing weight training and in this video we'll explore them in detail the first thing he builds strength one of the primary reason why Akiyama is doing weight training is to build strength as a professional fighter he needs to be able to generate a significant amount of force to, de to deliver powerful strikes takedowns and submissions weight training is an excellent way to develop muscular strength as it involves lifting progressively heavy weights over the time Akiyama weight training program likely includes exercises such as squats deadlifts bench press and overhead presses which target the major muscle groups in his body by performing this exercise regularly and gradually he increase he is likely to increase the weight he can build strength and power that can translate to his fighting performance the second thing it it improve endurance in addition to building strength weight training can also help improve endurance akiyama's fights often last several rounds and he needs to be able to maintain his strength and power throughout the entire fight by doing high reps sets and exercises like squats lunges and pushups he can improve his cardio his muscular endurance and delay uh, the onset of fatigue furthermore weight training can also improve cardiovascular endurance akiyama can in incorporate exercises like kettlebell swings battle rope and rowing machines into his training program to increase his heart rate and improve his ability to sustain to sustain intense physical activity for extended periods the third thing it prevent injuries another reason why akiyama is doing weight training is to prevent injuries as a professional fighter he is at risk of sustaining injuries during training and competition by building strength and Im and improving his um muscular endurance he can reduce the risk of muscle strains sprains and other type of injuries weight training can also help improve joint stability which is crucial for fighters exercises like squats and lunges strengthen the muscles around the knees and hips reduce the risk of knee and hip injuries similarly exercises like shoulder presses and row can strengthen the muscles around the shoulder reducing the risk of the rotator cuff injuries to enhance power and explosiveness as the fourth thing power and explosiveness and explosiveness are critical attributes for professional fighters akiyama needs to be able to generate a significant amount of force quickly whether it's for a strike takedown or submission weight training can help enhance power explosiveness by improving the rate of which he can he can circuit with his muscle fibers exercises like power cleans snatches and box jumps are excellent for developing power and explosiveness this exercise involve lift, lifting heavy weights or jumping explosively which which trains the body to generate force quickly and effectively the last one is the fifth one um by uh, it weight training it improves body composition finally akiyama is likely doing weight training to improve his body composition fighters need to maintain a lean physical f physique as excess body fat can slow them down to reduce their power and explosiveness weight training can help akiyama build muscle mass while reducing his body fat percentage leading to a leaner more specific physique Furthermore, weight training can also increase Akiyama's metabolism, helping him to burn more calories even when he is not training. This makes it easier for him to maintain a healthy weight and body composition throughout his career. Boxing heavy bags training is an excellent way to explore an athlete's strength, endurance, and agility. For Yoshihiro Akiyama, a professional mixed martial artist and judoka, heavy bag training can be particularly beneficial in several areas firstly heavy bags training can improve akiyama's striking power and accuracy as a fighter who relies on 
the striking abilities, patting his punches, elbow and knees on a heavy bag can help him develop a better form of physique, of technique. It allows him to practice throwing these strikes with more speed and power, which help him which they, which will help them more effectively in competition. Secondly, heavy bag training can improve Akiyama endurance and stamina. The repetitive movement for striking heavy bag several rounds can help him build cardiovascular endurance and improve his muscular uh, muscular endurance. This will allow him to maintain a high space throughout this fight and keep up the pressure on this opponent. Finally, heavy bag training can, can improve Akiyama footwork and agility. Practicing different combination of footwork patterns on the bag can help improve his movement and agility, making it more difficult to hit in the ring. It can also help him to develop balance and coordination, which is crucial for fighters in any combat sport. One of the things that sets Akiyama apart from other fighters is his dedication to maintaining a high level of fitness, particularly throughout cardio, particularly through cardio workouts. Cardio workouts are exercises that raise your heart rate and breathing rate, such as running, cycling, or swimming. These workouts help to improve your cardiovascular health, which refers to the health of your heart and blood vessels. A healthy cardiovascular system is essential for any athlete, especially for those involved in combat sports, as it helps to increase endurance, speed, and power, while also reducing the risk of injury and improving the recovery time. There are several reasons why Yoshihiro, Yoshihiro Akiyama does a cardio workouts. Firstly, cardio workouts help him to improve his endurance, which is crucial in mixed martial arts. MMA fights can last up to 25 minutes. And during this time, fighters need to be able to maintain their energy level to keep up with their opponents. Cardio workouts, like, cardio workouts help Akiyama to build his endurance allowing him to fight at a high intensity for long periods. Secondly, cardio workouts help Akiyama to improve his speed and agility. MMA fights involve a lot of movement, with fighters constantly changing direction and moving around the octagon. By doing cardio workouts, Akiyama is able to increase his speed, agility, make it easier for him to move around the ring and avoid his opponent's strikes. Thirdly, cardio workouts help Akiyama to reduce his body fat percentage. MMA fighters need to be in the top physical condition and having a low body, body fat percentage is essential. Cardio workouts help to burn calories and reduce the body fat, allowing Akiyama to maintain a lean physique. Lastly, cardio workouts help Akiyama to reduce stress and improve his mental health. Combat sports can be uh, mental and physique demanding. And it is essential for fighters to have a clear mind and be able to manage stress. Cardio workers release endorphins, which, can, which are uh, feel-good hormones that reduce stress and improve good mood. The way that Akiyama improves his strength and uh, Agility is by doing dips. Dips are clasthetic, clasthenic exercise that targets the triceps, chest, and shoulders. The exercise involves lowering the body down by bending the arms at the elbow and then pushing back up again. Dips are a fantastic way to build strength, particularly in the upper body, and are often used as a part of a compressive fitness routine. For Akiyama, dips provide numerous benefits that help him to stay at the top of his game. Firstly, dips are a great way to build upper body strength, particularly the triceps, which is essential for fighting. Having strong triceps helps Akiyama throw powerful punches and, and perform grappling techniques, having him an edge over his opponent. Additionally, dips help to build a strong and able and stable core, which is essential for any combat sport. Another way to, that dips help Akiyama is by improving his agility. Dips require a significant amount of balance and coordination, making them an excellent exercise for developing 
overall body control. Improve agility and coordination make Akiyama more effectively in the ring, allowing him to dodge and wave around his opponent with ease. Final dips are also uh, oh, dips are also help improve Akiyama's endurance. As a fighter, as a fighter, Akiyama needs to be able to perform at a high level of extended periods. Dips are demanding exercise that can quickly tie up the muscles, helping Akiyama to develop the stamina needed to keep fighting even when he is fatigued. Firstly, shadow boxing allows Akiyama to work on his footwork and the movement. He can practice shifting his weight between his legs, between his feet, pivoting and moving in and out range without the distraction of any opponent of an opponent. Akiyama can focus on his own movement, ensuring that the, he maintains balance and does not telegraph his attacks. Shadow boxing allows him to practice his angle of attack, which can be uh, difficult to do with sparring with a partner. Another area that Akiyama can improve through shadow boxing is his technique. He can work on the mechanics of his punches, kickbox, kicks, elbows, and knees, ensuring that his strikes are technically sound, technically sound and powerful. He can focus on the finer details of his technique, such as the rotation of his hips and the extension of his arm, which can make him make a significant difference in the effective of his strikes. Shadow boxing also can help Akiyama improve his conditioning. He can also he can use this training technique to work on his cardio and endurance, throwing combination for extended periods without the need to take a break. This helps him to, to train incredibly uh, and can be incredibly beneficial for Akiyam as it allows him to maintain a high level of intensity throughout the fight. This exercise involves lifting a heavy medicine ball and forcefully slamming into uh, the ground using explosive movement to work the entire body. Akiyama has been using this exercise to improve his several aspects of physical performance. Firstly, medicine ball slam are a great way to improve power and explosiveness. By repeatedly slamming the ball, Akiyama is training his muscles to produce maximal, maximum force in a short amount of time, which is essential for many aspects of mixed martial arts, such as striking takedowns. Secondly, medicine ball slams can improve Akiyama's overall strength and conditioning. This exercise targets the multiple muscle groups, including the core, back, shoulders, and the legs, leading to increased strength and endurance throughout the body. Finally, medicine ball slams can also help Akiyama with his agility and coordination. The explosive movements required to lift and slam the ball involve coordination, coordination between multiple muscle groups and require quick reflex, which are crucial for success in a mixed martial arts. One of the ways Akiyama is improving his game is through pad work. Pad work is a training technique that involves hitting or kicking pads help, held by a partner, coach, or a trainer. This technique allows fighters to practice their striking techniques, footwork, and timing, while also building endurance and strength. By doing pad work, Akiyama is able to improve his striking accuracy, power, and speed. The pad allows him to practice different combinations and techniques, such as jabs, hooks, uppercuts, and kicks, throughout having to worry about injuring his, his training pattern. This allows him to focus on the technique and execution. Each strike which can help him develop muscle memory and improve his overall technique. In addition, pad work can also help Akiyama improve his footwork and timing. A good trainer training partner will hold uh, the pad in a way that stimulates the movement of an opponent, forcing Akiyama to adjust his footwork and time to land his strikes and effecti effectively. This can be uh, especially useful in a mixed martial arts, where fighters need to be able to strike from different angles and distance. Finally, pad work can also help Akiyama improve his endurance condition and conditioning. Hitting pads for several 
rounds can uh, be a physical demanding workout and can help Akiyama develop the stamina needed through a fight. One of the reasons why Akiyama may be training Jiu Jitsu or scrambling is to improve his ground game. Ground fighting is an essential aspect for MMA and Jiu Jitsu is one of the most effective grappling style for controlling and submitting opponents. By training in Jiu Jitsu, Akiyama can improve his ability to defend against takedowns, control his opponents on the ground and look for submission opportunities. Scrambling or on the other hand, refers to the ability to maintain the and change position quickly during a ground fight. This skill is especially important for in MMA, where the action can be fast-paced and unpredicted. By training in scrambling, Akiyama can improve his ability to, to transition from one position to another, maintain control of his opponent, and escape from unfavorable position, positions. As he is currently doing kickboxing training, there are several ways in which he, it can improve his MMA performance. Firstly, kickboxing training can enhance Akiyama's striking ability, as MMA involves various of striking techniques such as punches, kicks, and knees. Kickboxing can improve Akiyama's overall striking game by developing his footwork, timing, and precision. This can make him more effective in striking exchanges during fights. Secondly, kickboxing training can improve Akiyama's cardio endurance. Kickboxing is a high-intensity workout that requires a lot of energy and stamina. By doing kickboxing training, Akiyama can improve his cardiovascular system and develop the ability to perform at high level of extended periods of time. This can be beneficial in MMA fights which can last for several rounds and require a lot of physical exertion. Lastly, kickboxing can improve Akiyama's defense skills. In, kickbo kick box in kickboxing, fighters need to have a good movement, footwork, and defensive techniques to avoid getting hit by their opponent. By incorporating kickboxing training into his MA training, Akiyama can develop his defensive skills and becoming more elusive in the cage.